Hello everyone, welcome to Full Moon Movies. Not to have seen the cinema of Ray means existing in the world without seeing the sun or the moon. Akira Kurosawa. Satyajit Ray, a towering figure in world cinema, was deeply influenced by various filmic styles during his formative years which significantly shaped his own unique approach to filmmaking. Early exposure to cinema came through his family's love for films and his experiences studying at the Vishwa Bharati University in Satniketan in India where he had access to a rich cultural environment. Now, one of the most significant influences on Ray's early filmmaking style was German Expressionism. Now, this movement is characterized by its use of dramatic lighting, distorted perspectives, and psychological depth, which had a really a profound impact on Ray's visual storytelling. He admired filmmakers like Fritz Lang and F.W. Murnau, whose work showcased the power of visual symbolism and subjective storytelling. Also, Italian neorealism was another major influence on Ray's filmmaking style. This post-World War II movement focused on portraying the lives of ordinary people with authenticity and empathy. Neo-released filmmakers like Vittorio Di Sica and Roberto Rossellini inspired Ray to explore social issues and depict the struggles of everyday life with honesty and compassion. Ray's commitment to capturing these realities of Indian society particularly in his portrayal of rural life in the Apu trilogy reflects the neorealist sensibilities. He employed non-professional actors filmed on location and depicted the socio-economic challenges faced by his characters echoing the principles of Italian neorealism. In his early films, Ray masterfully synthesized the elements of German Expressionism and Italian Neorealism to create his own distinctive style. His use of light and shadow, innovative camera angles and emphasis on character psychology were reminiscent of German Expressionism. While his focus on social realism and humanistic themes aligned with Italian Neorealism, Ray's ability to blend these influences seamlessly resulted in films that were visually stunning yet grounded in emotional truth. Despite the diverse subjects of his films, Ray's commitment to authenticity, empathy and humanism remained constant, cementing his status as one of the most influential directors in the history of cinema. The Apu Trilogy by Satyajit Ray is a timeless masterpiece that captivates audiences with its poignant storytelling and unforgettable characters. Comprising three films, Patar Panchali, Aparajito, and Apur Sansar, this trilogy traces the life journey of Apu, a young boy growing up in rural Bengal. Firstly, Ray's masterful development of characters is evident throughout the trilogy. In Patar Panchali, we witness Apu's innocent childhood and the struggles of his family. As the trilogy progresses in Aparajito, Apu navigates the complexities of adolescence and education, while in Apur Sansar, he confronts the challenges of adulthood and love. Ray skillfully portrays the growth and transformation of Apu, allowing the audience to empathize with his joys and sorrows. Each film in the trilogy contains key scenes and plots that captivate the audience. In Patar Panchali, the scene where Apu and his sister Durga explores the countryside for the first time is enchanting, showcasing Ray's ability to capture the beauty of nature. In Aparajito, Apu's departure from his village to pursue education in the city marks a pivotal moment in his life, symbolizing the clash between tradition and modernity. Finally, in Apur Sansar, depicts Apu's blossoming romance with Aparna and the emotional roller coaster he experiences as a young husband and father. Satyajit Ray's approach to direction, cinematography, art design, and music sets the Apu trilogy apart. His minimalist style and attention to detail create an immersive cinematic experience. Ray's use of natural lighting and real locations adds authenticity to his films, transporting the audience to the rural Bengal. 
Additionally, Ravi Shankar's evocative music enhances the emotional resonance of each scene, enriching the storytelling. In comparison to directors like Akira Kurosawa, John Ford, Andre Tarkovsky, and Bernardo Bertolucci, Satyajit Ray films stand out for their humanistic themes and intimate storytelling. Like these renowned directors, Ray explores the universal truths and the human condition, transcending cultural boundaries. His emphasis on character development and emotional depth resonates with audiences across the globe, making his films enduring classics. Now let's discuss the Criterion Apu Trilogy box set. Satyajit Ray's Apu Trilogy is now available from Criterion in various formats, including DVD, Blu-ray and 4K. Although the new box set on Amazon is priced at a hefty $170 Singapore dollars, both the Blu-ray and DVD collections are still accessible. Regardless of the format, the restoration from the original negatives ensures high-quality viewing experience for audiences. For film enthusiasts, adding Satyajit Ray movies to their collection is a must, especially for those who have studied films extensively. The Apu Trilogy offers invaluable lessons in storytelling, film direction and the masterful use of music composition by Ravi Shankar. Whether you choose to watch it on DVD, Blu-ray or 4K, you can comfortably immerse yourself in the timeless beauty and profound storytelling of Ray's cinematic masterpiece. Interestingly, with all his great achievements, not only in Indian cinema but also globally, Satyajit Ray only received his one and only honorary Oscar in 1992. Acknowledging his exceptional mastery of the art of motion pictures and his profound humanitarian perspective. Ray's enduring influence on filmmakers and audiences worldwide was recognized with this prestigious award. I would imagine that a profound filmmaker like him, he could have been given an Oscar during his youthful days. However, as the saying goes, good talent never goes unappreciated. The Indian government has recognized his contribution to Indian cinema and awarded him with the country's prestigious awards Badma Shri in 1958, Badma Bhushan in 1965 and Bharat Ratna in 1992. The Apu Trilogy is Satyajit Ray's masterpiece as they were shot over five years and each movie in the trilogy stands as a tender, visually radiant journey in its own right. Rescued from the ashes of a devastating fire that destroyed the original negatives in 1993, these films have been meticulously reconstructed and restored, emerging as some of the most arcanely beautiful and richly humane movies ever made. The restoration process was undertaken in collaboration with the Academy Film Archive at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and Le Margin Retrovata, resulting in stunning 4K digital restorations accompanied by uncompressed monaural soundtracks. Now this Criterion Special Edition release includes a wealth of bonus features offering audiences deeper insights into the making of the Apu Trilogy, from audio recordings of director Satyajit Ray reading his essay A Long Time on the Little Road and engaging in conversations with film historian Gideon Benchman to interviews with actors and crew members. This collection provides a comprehensive look behind the scenes. Furthermore, viewers can explore the creative process behind the Apu Trilogy through video essays documentaries and archival footage, shedding light on Satyajit Ray's artistic vision and enduring legacy of these films. Also, the essays by critics Terence Rafferty and Girish Shambhu, along with Ray's own storyboards for Patar Panchali, adds depth to the weaving experience offering valuable context and analysis. Also do note that the film themselves are cropped at 1.37 is to 1 aspect ratio because during his era of filming, that was the standard aspect ratio for films. While you are watching the three movies in 4K, you may notice some level of noise appearance, just slightly. Now, if you prefer, you can switch back to the Blu-ray format based on your comfort level. In fact, I think just having the Blu-ray format of the box set will be sufficient. 
As for each movie's packaging or casing, they are beautifully designed. When you open each disc packing, you are greeted with an epic scene from the film on the left side, while the discs lay well fitted on the right. Additionally, at the back of the casing, you have a short history behind the movie and the special editions featured included in the 1080p Blu-ray discs, all well nicely explained. Another important feature in this box set is the inclusion of essays by critics Terence Rapati and Girish Chambu, along with a selection of Ray's storyboards for Patar Panchali, which adds significant depth and context to the Criterion's box set of the Apu trilogy. Girish Chambu, another esteemed critic and scholar of cinema, brings his own unique perspective to the table with his essay. Shambhu's scholarly approach offers a deeper understanding of the Apu trilogy placed within the broader landscape of the world cinema. His analysis may touch upon themes such as the post-colonialism identity and the intersection of art and society, providing viewers with thought-provoking insights that enrich their viewing experience. In regard to the quality of the box set, I would say that more could have been done to make it sturdier, as it feels somewhat flimsy and paper-like, and might easily tear if not handled carefully. However, I really love the artwork on the discs for each of the movies as they reflect the captivating scenes. Also, do take note that all the three movies consist of English subtitles. In conclusion, Satyajit Ray's achievements in both Indian and global cinema are nothing short of remarkable. As a filmmaker, he revolutionized Indian cinema, introducing a new wave of realism and humanism that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. Through his masterful storytelling, Ray portrayed the complexities of Indian society with authenticity and sensitivity, shedding light on the struggles of ordinary people and capturing the essence of the human experience. Ray's film not only garnered critical acclaim but also earned numerous awards and accolades both in India and internationally. His groundbreaking work, particularly the Apu trilogy, brought Indian cinema to the global stage, earning him widespread recognition and admiration. Ray's influence extended far beyond the borders of India, inspiring filmmakers around the world and shaping the course of cinema history. In addition to his filmmaking prowess, Ray was also a prophetic writer, illustrator and composer showcasing his multifaceted talent and creative genius. His contribution to literature, art and music further cemented his legacy as one of the most influential figures in Indian cultural history. Overall, Satyajit Ray's achievements have left an indelible mark on both Indian and global cinema. His films continue to be celebrated for their timeless themes, artistic excellence and profound impact on audiences. Ray's legacy serves as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring significance of cinema as a medium of artistic expression and cultural exchange. Now this collection is a must watch.